Okay guys, today we'll be making chili for dinner. Here is, I have chili sauce, I have my seasonings here. I'm using ground turkey to make this chili. Um, these are the seasonings that I will be using. And here's my cans. I use four of the red chili beans. I think these are great northern beans, I'm not sure. Uh, and then two cans of the kidney beans. And then I use one can of diced tomatoes. And then I'm also going to use two packets of this McCormick chili powder. I love this stuff, y'all. It just takes the chili to a whole nother level. All right. And I usually use bell peppers too, but um, I didn't have any. So I'm just going to roll with the onions, honey. So I'm going to get started and chop up the onions here. And usually I chop the onions up the other way, like uh, diagonally, and it just falls apart. But I don't know what I was doing here, to be honest. <laughs> I messed up, and then I just was like, whatever, just roll with it. Hurry up and cut before it start burning your eyes. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. All right, and I'm just gonna saute these um, in the skillet with some olive oil. And I'm gonna let that cook down so they're nice and soft and a little transparent. And yeah, so while that's cooking down, I am gonna get started on opening up these cans. And you guys, so I do clean the top of my cans with uh, a little dish liquid and you know warm water and rinse it thoroughly because you don't want any dirt debris or um, i hate to say it but if the manufacturing company or the grocery store may have pests or anything um, there's a chance that they crawled on the can so i clean the cans thoroughly before i um, open it open them rather so I just wanted to give that tip out there um, to you guys. You always want to make sure you clean the top of your cans. So I opened all my cans and I'm going to dump them in this big pot here that I'm using. And I know it looks like a lot, but keep in mind that I have a, a large family. So I'm cooking this for a family of six. Um, it's six of us when my bonus children aren't here. It, it's eight of us when they are. So it's just going to be the six of us eating this and tonight. So that's why I have all these cans <laughs> in this large pot. But you guys, you are more than welcome to adjust this recipe to what fits your household or what, what you like. Maybe you don't like diced tomatoes. Maybe you only like kidney beans or whatever. Um, it's up to you on how you want to make it. Okay. So I am going to put that on the back burner for now. And I did turn the um, heat on there for low. You can see the steam on the side of the pot. But I'm back over to my onions. I'm going to add my ground turkey to the mixture. And I don't like seasoning my uh, ground turkey until it's halfway through cooking. I don't know why. I just feel like it just, I don't know, turns out better <laughs> that way. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to add this in here and I'm going to let it brown a little bit before I start seasoning the ground turkey. And I'm just trying to mix those onions in there really good. Moving back over to my beans, I'm going to add my chili sauce while that's in there cooking. And I didn't say this at the beginning, but you are going to need water. So what I normally do is I fill that chili sauce jar up with water and then I just dump it in there. I do it like three or four times depending on um, the consistency 
that I'm looking for. And that's what you all can do. Um, you just go based on the thickness that you want or that you prefer. So I'm going to add a little bit more water in here a couple of times. And I'm just mixing that chili sauce in now. So my meat is halfway through and I'm going to add my seasoning, little black pepper, I'm going to add some garlic powder, you guys I love garlic powder, powder excuse me, um, some salt, and I use this pink Himalaya salt because um, I read somewhere where it's healthier for you, <laughs> so I'm going to use that and I'm going to mix that in, let that brown really good and then once that's done browning and done i am going to dump it here in my strainer all right get that all in there make sure that it drains really well um so i'm gonna you'll see me kind of mix it around use the spoon to kind of mix all that extra fat out on the grease that is hot <laughs> Okay, so I'm mixing the ground turkey into my mixture here. And once that's in, I'm gonna add my chili powder. And then I'm gonna add the two packets of McCormick seasoning and mix that in thoroughly um, in the pot. And again, you guys can do this to your consistency. If you want it more soupy, uh, you can add more water to it. If you like it like how I have it, then great. If you want it thicker, um, you know, you can add more meat or more beans. Or maybe you just want to add, I don't know, a little uh, flour, starch, whatever is to your liking. You know, everybody um, makes their chili different. Some people like it soupy. Some people like it more meaty or like a stew or something. So anyways, this is how we like it. So, yeah. And once this is all in here and mixed in thoroughly, what I'm going to do is put it on low. Um, I'm going to turn it down to like a medium low to let it cook. And then, wow, that is simmering. I know you guys are like, look at her stove. So, I am going to start cleaning up my mess. My mom always told me that you clean as you cook. Clean as you go. So then... When you're done, you don't have a whole lot to clean. It'll just be the dishes that um, you all are eating off of. So, I was being a little lazy. I'm like, I'm not about to run dishwater. I only got a handful of dishes. I'm just going to wash them <laughs> with the water running. So, that's what I did here. Um, yeah, my husband will say something about the water bill later. No, let me stop. <laughs> I just did it like this here. And here is the finished product, guys. I added a little oyster crackers to mine. And here you go. 
I love this sign, guys. I actually got it at Dollar Tree. Eat well, pray often, love always. Amen, amen. Enjoy your chili, guys.